Hey guys, it's Monster with another review, and today we are reviewing the newest Bandai Movie Monster series, Legion, from Gamera 2. We'll look at her body real quick, all her kind of details. She's not the best detailed figure, but she's more accurate in the movie, to, or to the movie. And if you guys can, you can take this time to go down to the comments below and say happy birthday to Monster Father, my dad. So today is his birthday. And yeah, I'm sure he would appreciate it. And yeah. You can see Legion is very white. And lots of black on her. And some reds. Let's get a closer look at her, shall we? And here's her face. Let's see, head on. Can't really see her eyes very well. Probably, I could move the camera down more. But I don't think that would really help. You see? She's got these mandibles under her jaw on either side. They are molded in. And her mouth. Kinda make it out. Camera's not really wanting to focus. She's got some bright metallic blue eyes. Which look very nice. I don't really remember her story too much from the movie. It's been a while since I've watched them, so sorry if I get some things wrong, you guys can correct me down below. She does have some minor paint scuffing, that's just how she came, because in the box I got her from Hobby Link Japan, her front uh, horn was almost poking through the box, because I had her sealed in the box super tight. But yeah, you see all sorts of shading, she's got a black bottom, kind of like a snail type thing would have, or a slug, just one big foot, you can see trademark there, Bandai, and Kodokawa, in the back, she's about like 7 or 8 inches long, Let's see. Sorry, my cat's playing around underneath me. And then she does have these little, I think they're like spores. Little, like egg things that her soldiers come out of. And yeah. She's got giant pinchers, which are very nice. Nicely shaded. Same for these fins or whatever they are. I would guess she's some sort of sea crustacean. Because she looks like a giant lobster. And tag. It's one of them long tags. All these Gamera ones are having the long tags, I'm not sure why, but they don't fit my card protectors very well. Let's get the Kodokawa sticker, Legion from the movie, and then Gamera vs. Legion art there, which looks very cool. I think this movie was the 1996 one. Oh yeah. And then she does have all these little arms. They are kind of a bendable plastic, but it's harder than vinyl. So it's like a PVC or something. You can see they're put on by their own like separate piece here. You see. 
And yeah, articulation. She has less articulation than the uh, older version of her. So basically her head can go side to side. And get stopped by this little thing down here. Her neck spike or whatever it is. And then her little pinchers can also go up and down. There's about that much. And the backs of them, I'm going to call these her elbows. They can go all the way around. On both sides. And then these last little bits here, whatever these are, her support legs can go all the way around on both sides. So if you don't want the paint getting scuffed up on these, like on the tips, uh, you can have them outward like this. That's an option you can do. But over time, they're probably going to warp because they're soft plastic. But you can see that. So now the weight is kind of onto here. But her whole body is just soft vinyl. I can see her one day just kind of sinking. Mainly her front legs too. Because they're a little squishy too. I can see them slowly spreading out. Like the Kaiser Ghidorah had. That issue. Yeah. Now I will bring in... Well, first I can go over my paint scuffs on her. Because she's not, not in the best condition after she was shipped. So, you see right there? It's a slight paint scuff. Little black dot. Right here by her eye, there's a little white dot. Now, I don't want to hate on Bandai or anything, but. During shipping, cross from sea and stuff, things that take a long time, see here and here, these little orange dots, or brown, <clears throat> and all along her claw here, it's scraped up pretty good, and in the claw there, there's like blue paint, I don't even know where that came from, there's some minor little dots on the tail. They aren't really noticeable. <clears throat> but this one probably it would bug me the most. You see a black scrapes along her mandibles. I don't know what to call these. I don't think there's any on this side. Yeah, not too much. Also, she could move on the waist here if you break the glue seal. But it's your figure, you do what you want. So, yeah. Now, I will compare her with the old Legion. Because this old queen is a bit bigger and probably better. To movie accuracy, this one's better, but size and probably detail, this one's better, I think, in articulation. But this one, they changed, or on the new one, they changed her head, so she's uh, looking straight forward now, instead of straight down like this one is. Let's see, sorry, bumped you. Like that. They straightened out her legs and raised her head. So, yeah. And then also, side by side, while we're like this, you guys can see how long they are. So, from the tip of the nose to the back, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'm doing my best. 
get their noses lined up. And then I will pick you guys up. You can see there. See, the old legion is about almost an inch longer. If I have their noses lined up. So, yeah. Be wary of that. But anyway, articulation wise, so. She has no articulation on the back legs here, but the old legion does. So these can go up and down, which I'm not sure why they removed them on a the new one. They just combined these two into one leg. Let's see here on the new one. So that's one difference that they got. It's nothing major, but it's weird that they did it. But you can see their tails are the same. They're close to the same mold. And this one's probably more squishier. Like I can really squish her and she'll just reflate or whatever. And also, I think she may be able to turn at the waist here. You can see she kind of moves, but yeah, I'm not going to break her glue seal just to turn her. But yeah, that's all that's different for the articulation. Now, comparisons. Here she is with the Super Gaius, I think it's called, from 1999. Either 1999 or 1998. I'm not super knowledgeable of the years. I just know there were three movies. You can see his wingspan compared to her. He's about like three inches wider than her. But also Iris. Iris is pretty good scale, I'd say. They look pretty good together. Oof, sorry. And she's about the same size, height-wise, as the old Legion. And here she is with the new released 1995 Gamera and they look really nice together and as well as the 1999 Gamera I do have a 96 on the way and here she is with my newest uh, anime Godzilla figure from Godzilla Singular Point they are the same height just about and yeah, he's a bit longer than her, obviously, because of the tail. But they look good together. So yeah, she's about six inches tall to this crest. And maybe four inches with this to the head. And Godzilla's about five inches tall. So yeah. And that's the review. I am expecting the Gaios to arrive pretty soon. And also, like this video if you have not already. It's going to help a lot if you like it. it tells the algorithm so that, that people want to watch this video. And more people should also see it. So yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. We're on our way to 2k subs. And yeah, another one. Another thing is I'm expecting a Kong figure to arrive soon as well. So I can do some box openings.
if you guys want, let me know down below. And thank you all for watching.